we will now discuss displacement versus distance. So first, what is the meaning of distance? Distance tells us how far an object travels, whereas displacement is the shortest. So let me emphasize this. It is the shortest distance between the starting point and the end point with direction. So take note that we have, we have to consider the starting point and the end point. So to illustrate what I mean, let us look at this one. So for example, I have here, um, I, I come from this house and then I want to go to this blue house over here. Let's say that this distance here is equal to, um, let's make it 4 meters. 4 meters. And then this one here is 3 meters. What would be the, and then, and then by the way, you walk, okay, this is your path, all right? So let's say that you walk this way from here and then go there, all right? So what will be, so remember, this is your starting point, start, and then this is your end point, okay? Now, what will be your distance traveled? Your distance traveled will be equal to 4 meters plus 3 meters. So therefore, that is 7 meters. Again, where did the distance come from? Here, because you walked 4 meters and then you walked another 3 meters to reach your destination. So therefore, your distance is 4 meters plus 3 meters. So that's 7 meters. But what will be your displacement? Let us recall that for displacement, you only have to look at your starting point, this one here, your starting point, and then your end point. Now, let us recall that from the definition, it says that it is the shortest distance. Let me just rewrite it again. That is the shortest distance from starting point to end point. Alright, now this one would happen to be, okay, we will now look for this distance here. This is supposed to be straight. This distance here will be equal to 5 meters. So therefore, your displacement is 5 meters. Alright, 